So it's uh, so this is uh, going to trial, but I'm being put into the uh, I'm being put into the waiting room. And the try the trial could uh, occur anywhere from now, which is in the, like high noon, until uh, until five o'clock when the court closes. So I um, so once again, uh, I hope my phone doesn't like if I didn't have a charger for my phone, I would I would be you know they didn't they didn't steal my charger from my phone. I, I can't, I don't have wireless data, so I can't just like, you know, just, I, I have, like, so I have to be on, because I don't, I didn't, wasn't able to pay for my phone bill. I used my, my funds for a hotel after my father tried to kill me. Um, his lawyer, my father's lawyer says he's not, um, he's not ready for trial. So, um, I could have to sit here until five o'clock hoping to God, like, nothing, like, goes bad on my, on, on, the, on the network, like, because my computer's not a lot, like, a, I can't connect on the network with my computer. Uh, my father threw away my other computer, and um, and so I, you know, so the reliable connection is just like it's um, it's 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 not reliable, and uh, there's no really guaranteed time for it. So it's just kind of like it's um, at the at the library, like you know, they at the library. If I was to go to the library, um, I wouldn't be able to sit there at the library and just kind of like um, sit there for hours and hours, especially like during like during the, the uh, the quarantine isolation quarantine period like the library is like you only get like 30 minutes to, to go in there so it's like uh, so that that's that's really problematic um, there wasn't uh, and I can't just stay on the phone for like you know like five hours just waiting to you know waiting um, and um, I guess I, I wish I could show you the photographs um, but if they're on my, my telephone um, they're on my telephone which are photographs that he and my Basically, my grandfather and my father got into the car and they drove into the sunset. Into the, I'm, I'm saying the sunset because it was actually they drove to court. And then at court, they um, at, at court they it, well they they got into the car so like so like I, I couldn't I couldn't go to court. And uh, and he threw away my my computer so he just um, so he so I couldn't actually go to court. Um, my father filed an order of protection. Uh, and it was dropped because he committed perjury on it, um, and and so uh, they just they just assumed like the issue is that my father tricked my grandfather into letting him have the car, and then my father came back. And so my, last night when he violated his order of protection, then my father came, um, my father came uh, to pick him up this morning, and so I wouldn't be able to get to court. And like I said, they stole my guitars, threw away all my clothing. And uh, I wasn't able to. Uh, I wasn't able to. Um, I wasn't able to. Uh, look, I don't have any funds anymore because I paid for a hotel, and then so I was um, like, I couldn't. I couldn't get, like get a bus to like go out, like go there, to go to court myself. Because the buses are running right now, I just don't have the funds for it, and so I'm just kind of stuck. Uh, I just hope I don't get kicked off of, of this meeting, like, and I, I don't want to exit off the application. I didn't uh, the. Uh, like this, I'm going to just sign back in, but home screen, lock screen, like, uh, like about lock screen. I'm going to try to say it like, I hope it doesn't lock. I'm about lock screen. Like, no, it doesn't lock screen is, um, let's see home screen. I might have been kicked out of the, of the out of the court. Um, I just don't want it to lock, or if it, if the thing is open, I just don't want the, the phone to lock. Um, without you know, if I if I'm in the middle of a court case, I have to wait like like uh, like five hours. Privacy, okay. Um, home screen themes, wallpaper. These are all very important things, by the way. It's just sad. Like all of this is just really really sad. Like people do this. Like my father states in the court case that he has he has like nowhere to go, he has nowhere to go. He works. You can uh, there's hotels. I guess hotels. You can you can buy yourself a house. Like you can you can buy yourself your own house. Like uh, you don't just go to jail for your entire entire life and like think you get a free house, and then and then come into this house, my grandmother's house, and do just start doing drugs. Like and then. It's a lot worse than that, but uh, display, 
uh, sound, so I have connections. Oh, lock screen. It should be on the lock screen. Um, screen lock type. None. No security swipe. I just like it's um, display. I think it's display. Um, sc screen timeout. It says every thirty minutes. I can screen timeout for every thirty minutes. It should be unlimited. There should be an unlimited. But I just set it to unlimited. I mean thirty minutes. And uh, let's see, screen saver, none. Okay, so uh, technically, like, and imagine like a homeless person dealing with this. Like, is you like you don't know, like they're not gonna know about, about this problem. I'm just taking everything into consideration. I might be kicked out of court, so that that's kind of the issue. Is that you know, I'm still in it, still in it. So, so I have to I have to set a timer. Like for for twenty minutes, like every twenty minutes. And and so I just set a timer and have to check my phone every twenty minutes, keep it charged, um, and wait for this 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 trial to to begin. Um, and, um, and that's, uh, you know, that, that's, re that's, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Cause I, it could, it could be like three hours from now, four hours from now. So I just, I had to sit here and, and uh, and like just wait. Why, you know, the worst part is that he, he says he has nowhere to go. And uh, and so he throws away my clothing. Uh, steals my guitar. And uh, not, then, then steals my other computer, which wasn't even mine. And, um, and it, was a, it was a library's computer. So once again, it, I, I borrowed it. Now because I can't hand it back to them, they're, they're going to find me. They're actually going to find me the, the, the like $300 what the computer is worth. And so I can't, because I now, I'm, I'm in a debt to the, to the library. I can't like go in there and like utilize the computers on their, like on, on like, like there at the library because they'll, because like, they'll say like, I, they won't, they, they won't let me use their computers because I owe, I, I'm in debt to them. So they said I have to pay that debt before I can utilize their computers, like, like renting a book or anything. And, um, so, so what, and they're not going to let me sit like on, 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 on video for like, like four hours waiting hike it's uh, it's it's just really unfair how like how your car can get like my vehicle my car got stolen too um it's really unfair how like your your vehicle can get stolen your clothes get thrown away like your guitar gets stolen like all your valuables and um and then like I, I'm, I'm struggling just to get to court. Like my computer stopped. Uh, I can't use this computer for to get online. And um, they signed out uh, of the of the application and uh, of, of, like, on on this tablet. They, they, if he would have thought ahead, he would have taken this tablet with. Um, and, and so, because because then if, without this tablet, I would like I need to slow down. Um, this tablet had I logged in to the to the the courtroom using the application and um and they deleted the application and then my father did and then he deleted the application and and then he signed out of the tablet so that's um that's that's just horrible that's absolutely horrible and um and so uh with with no other computer like how do i like i'm, I'm lucky to have, have had, like buy this phone I was lucky to, because I worked. I, I worked, and then like I bought a phone. But then uh, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was living paycheck to paycheck, um, and so I paid. My paycheck went to a hotel after he tried to kill me, and uh, and it, I had to. It's just like what I'm trying to say is is that was like the last straw. You get that was like the last straw. Like my life was like he attempted. He actually attempted. He made the attempt. Um, I've told, like, how is he, like, maybe the sheriff, 
I need to call the sheriff and see if, because he's in court. They need to serve him. Redial. Police. Let me just call the police. Um, like eight eight one five. Let's say you violated his order. Eight one five. Um, like Five. Oh. Like he's at court right now. They sh he should be arrested for violating his parole or order of protection. He did violate his parole too. Offer place and fire. Hi, my father violated uh, an order of protection like five times. Um, he's currently in courtroom three eleven. Okay. Um, I was wondering if you guys could, uh, if you guys could do something about that. Where are you calling from? Uh, the house that, uh, um, at, at my, at, 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 at the house where I grew up. My home address. Okay, did you report these violations? I did, I did. I reported them several times. Okay, so, I, I mean, what is he doing at the courthouse now? Uh, it's uh, it's set for trial uh, for a here uh, for the plenary order of protection to be granted. Okay, then they're they're handling it at the court. They're handling it at the court. Um, so the issue is that like regardless, um, he uh, so um, yeah, regardless of, of the outcome of the trial, does that does that substantiate whether or not uh, the violation is, is um is 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 is, is legal or not? I mean, if there was an order in place and it was violated, then that the violation stands. Okay. Yeah, because like and I just wanted to express that like I I had to I have to sit around I had to sit around all day because uh, he came back so many times I'm just like freaking out like it spent hours just like freaking out and um and so I just uh, they're handling it at the courthouse I appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So she says it still stands. Uh, and uh, so he like technically you you go you have to go like it's thirty days like if you don't have money for bail it's like thirty days um, it's 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 thirty days for a violation um, I, I I I I told them so if they don't they don't I mean there's a chance that they they don't do anything about it because they haven't there's a chance. Um, yeah, there's a chance. So, uh, I'm gonna call the sheriff. Like happiness. Come on, you gonna? It's gonna ring. It's not coughing, but it's not.
You, you can hear the trauma from my voice, like... You can just hear the trauma from my voice, it's just like, like... And the only thing is that, like, it's against the, against the law, so you just like... Because if enough people, like, get the wrong information, and, and then, like, they, they can hurt you, and it's not really much you can do about it. Not really much you can do about it. I'm just like, well, I really hope you're, you know, you're able to do the right thing here. Uh, try calling one more time. I'm wearing women's clothing. This is how it's not on purpose. Not on purpose. Sheriff's Department. Hi, could I talk to us? Uh, I know Silver Pross, uh, they usually uh, break for lunch um, at like one, 1 o'clock. Are they back yet? I can just transfer you over there. Hold on. Okay. Civil process. Hi, uh, this is Ethan. Uh, I was uh, hoping that maybe uh, you guys could uh, serve my father. Uh, he's in courtroom 311. And it's set for trial, but there's no guarantee that the trial is going to uh, occur before 5 o'clock. So he might be sitting around there for quite some time. Um, and I was hoping that... Wait, today he's in there right now? Right there, right now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, there's no guarantee that he can be served right now. I mean, I could notice, I could let the officer know where he's at, but yeah, no guarantee. Um, I, I, right, I know there's no guarantee. Uh, he, I, and I, I just contacted the the city and, and informed them again that he violated his uh violated an order of protection. Was he served with your LP? Uh. So I yeah I he I asked the sheriff to uh, just serve him another one just to cover all bases. From my understanding online, it's uh, he's been served. Okay, what's the case number for your what what type of paper? Is this a civil process? Yeah, paper so or an OP? Uh, well, I I would like to have both issued at the same time just to cover all bases again. No, because if your OP was already served, there's no reason to be to, for that to serve it again. Right. But what's the, the what's the case number? Um, twenty one L. So there, we can't. The paperwork not be served today because it, the last day to for this paper to be served is, was yesterday. The last the last day for it to be served was yesterday. Correct. I'm oh. sorry, not yesterday. No, this is February. No, no, no. I'm wrong. Sorry. Um. So yeah, we have. So you said right now. Right now. He'll be in court at. It says here one thirty. He'll be in court. Yep. So. We're, he's, in, he's in court right now. Okay, but there's no guarantee our officer can just, you know, stop everything. Just they could appear in court for this paper. I know. It's just uh, hard for them to do everything else and stop everything what they're doing. Hold on, is this, uh, hey, is this, uh, is, uh... As a, so I, yeah, um, I have a home, uh, unfortunately, my father, I, fi I filed an OP for, uh, cause my father tried to kill me and so that's why he's in court until, uh, until five. Um, he, yeah, he wouldn't let me use a shower, 
Like he wouldn't let me use the bathroom. He stole my he stole my guitar. Like he stole like he threw away all my clothing. Like you wouldn't believe what I'm I'm wearing right now. Uh, so it's. Oh, so are you at his house right now? I, uh, this house. Um, I'm not sure. My grandfather owns the house. He said. Uh, my grandfather says he, my grandfather. It's my grandfather. My grandfather bought the house. So I don't know who's. Okay, but yeah. Your dad is not living there, right? Uh, my dad moved back in after he was released from prison. Uh, he was wearing the GPS band, like he 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 was. Uh, he yeah. Was, yeah, and then he like assault, he assaulted me, threatened me, like I, like he, he threatened me every day to hurt me when he was on. I, I told the PO, the parole officer, but I, nothing nothing happened for some reason, and um, hmm. so maybe they're still investigating your case. Yeah. A while. Yeah. Yeah. That will take a while. Um. So. Yeah, it, there, it was uh, noted here that he will be in court today at one thirty, room three eleven. So I'm sure they, our deputy was already advised on this, you know, this information. Yeah, you guys are, so, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they already, you know, are my other, my uh, coworker. I'm sure she had put this note, uh, a note on the. Um, on your summit that he will be in court today. So that's already been noted. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye. Um, just call what? us again uh -huh. whether if he was served or not. Okay. Um, um, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll keep checking. Okay. I, you know, I'm struggling with, with, with reaching you guys because it's just, it's about, you know, it's due to, due to these circumstances. But, you know, eventually, like, I, I, I'll be able to walk in or something. So that's, yeah. Is he going back to this address, Wishart Drive? Is there, it Wishart? There's. There, it seems like if if the order is not granted, he's going to come back here, and he's going to probably hurt me. Oh, okay. Well, you should probably leave there if he's going to hurt you. Um, and I. So. So so that's kind of the issue. Is that um. You don't have a place. Well, he, no he, other place he, he well he threw away my clothing. Uh, he just he just stole my guitar. Um, uh, he he's uh, he's um, uh, he's threatened like he's he's threatened to hurt me. So yeah, I just I, yeah I I would. My grandfather wants me here, and that's the most. I, my grandfather wants me here. He said when he goes to court today, he's going to do everything for me. Um, Why I, does your father keep keeps you know keep going back there? Um, does he have other place? Does he have a house for himself? No, so my so my grandfather said that my father, when he got out of jail, he could own the house, um, and so my grandfather's trying. My grandfather uh, is trying to uphold that promise, but he he's like my grandfather's mind is like he doesn't really want my father to own the house anymore, and I don't I don't. So that's that's kind of another issue. Is that um? Is that, he should need to change the will. Yeah, he, my grandfather just needs to own his house. He just needs to own his own house. Is what what needs to be. And so that, that, that's just, I'm sure, I think my grandfather's going to like, just, I, I think he, I think he, uh, signed the deed over to my father and he's going to sign it back, back to himself. Um, okay. so, but my father came back home, so he's doing drugs, he's drinking, um, he's bringing people like, you know, in the middle of the night, like into the house, like in the, it's just like, you know, this is my grandmother's house, Susie, like my grandmother passed away, like she never would, would, would have, like she never wanted this and so. It's, she never wanted um, this. Okay. Well, so where is your grandfather right now? He, in the house or where is he at? My father tricked my grandfather into letting him use his car, my grandfather's car. So my, my father drove my grandfather's car last night and then came here to pick up my grandfather. So And they both went to court. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Whether if your dad was served or not. His name is Virgil, right? Virgil? Yep, same. Same. Uh, he's Junior. Uh, JR. Junior. Yeah, that's what it says here. Virgil Junior. Okay. Sorry to hear about your your trouble. Um, so, yeah. Um, right now, we have already notified the deputy that he was in court at one thirty. So, 
it's just kind of hard for our deputy to just stop everything, what they're doing. So just give us a call again sometime, maybe tomorrow or next week. I, I, I will I will try. It's just Susie. He tried to kill me. Like he threatened me with a knife. Like he 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 tried to kill me, Susie. Okay. Well, if that's what's going on, you should call the police if he's you know trying to kill you at that that you know at that point. You should call the police. I yep. there's a I have a FOIA for the uh, the police report when they came out, um, but they're. Uh, and I, I have a FOIA for it, and then I have a, a um, and I have a video of it that I submitted to the police. I submitted a, a, a video to the police as evidence, um, and um, and so I was hoping that maybe you guys could like check that out um, when it happened. So yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure they're looking at that stuff for you, but yeah, just give us a call if you want to know. If He should go to jail. Hopefully, they arrest him. For, I mean, he violated the OP. Um, uh, so what the? So once again, what the city of Rockford does is they have like a. They um they tell people when you're in the situation to go to through this program to get to get housing. Uh, you know, and this is like the national. Like NAMI, National Against Violence, all that, all National Against Violence and stuff, and um, and these are the centers. So you go through this if you want to get if you want to get on a housing list with the uh, here uh, because of, with here you um, they 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 make you do like an assessment like a, a, a an assessment like a mental health assessment and. A uh, police officer came because my uh, police officer came to the house because this is very like emotional, and then he ended up hitting me in the face, and and um, what happened? And so he ended up hitting me in the face. He had told me to get. I told him what was happening. He told me to get on my belly. He put handcuffs on me, and then after he put handcuffs on me, he just started hitting me over and over and over and over and over and over again, and um, and and so uh, and so I I, I once those chart like once that was handled. Um, I took him to a federal court and he's now the defendant in federal court. And, um, and so the issue is that his lawyer was wanting to use, trying to find out if they could use like maybe a mental health, if I ever received like a mental health treatment as like a def and, and, and then, and then allege that I'm like not clinically like sane. And, um, and that gives him a cause for, for, uh, for, for his assaulting me and then falsely arresting me. And uh, the issue is that that was before there was body cams. Uh, they just issued body cams to every officer, so a body cam would maybe solve the problem. But 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 um, but the real problem is that um, there's there's evidence on body cam where my grandfather alleges that he owns the house, and then he alleges that my father owns the house. So so the, so the police officer the police officers when he, and my father violated this order of protection. So the police officers just like didn't like didn't do anything. Like maybe they're gonna do something now. Like, cause all this, like all this evidence, but I thought, but, but I, I thought you just had to call the police and explain to them and provide them an affidavit and maybe a video that you had. And they, they, they usually arrest the person who, 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 uh, wouldn't let you use the bathroom, wouldn't let you work out, wouldn't let you t take a shower, um, wouldn't let you like do the laundry, wouldn't let like, uh, like it's just like, um, like, like on parole, like hit you in the face, threatens to kill you. Like hurt you every day, like you would think, and um, and so this this program, this program, it, it, like so what's the what my what the police officer's lawyer who works for the city is, is trying to. That's that's the timer. So so the issue is that like the, it, like in the court the, they can allege that like. Um, they can allege that you have like a, a, a disability and because you went through their housing program to get housing and you have to take a mental ass assessment. Um, there's other programs that are available. There's two other programs and they, they're, they're somewhat the same. They're just without the, 
without this, um, without this program. But uh, but this, but the police recommend this program, and it protects the police when they make a mistake because in court, like I said, um, if you if you go through their program, which is like supposed to like co crisis co, it's a crisis co response team, like it's a crisis co response team, and so but in a crisis, like it's not a, it's. It's like if you're in a crisis and the police hurt you, um, it's it's um, you, it's you you have like like they they this is like not the this is not for you, and this is what they're and they contract with with these with these in the, with these places, um, and, and did you know the food bank when you're so they contract with these places, and and these places will because. Because of, of like if a, if a police officer is going to go to jail, he's not going to tell the truth on his police report, and um, and if uh, it, it, like basically my father who assaulted me can just allege to to these people that I, I would have like a like a disability, and they would move forward with 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 uh, with handling it correctly, and the police officer would get off with the police officer would get off with uh, with, with with assaulting you and falsely arresting you, and. Um, and, it, and the issue is it prevents like you from getting housing like safety like no it, it it's like that you can you can trick people into going into this program and 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 know what and, and so once they go into this program it's like you can't like you're 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 like look what a criminal can 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 make you do a criminal can can you know make you go through like a health like a, a health um a health examination to get into so you can get into an apartment and and uh, and and then it's like they can't. If you're a victim, then you can't like really fight it. Uh, it's a really bad problem. Um, like I said, here's a police report of like my my uh, my my father stealing my car my guitar. And uh, my grandfather is is not wanting my father to go to jail. So he's they're blaming like this girl that was here um, that my father was with. And. Um, and that's just that's just how like once again you can, they can, you can they can pick up the telephone and, and and call like call the police and 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 allege that somebody did something that they didn't do and they get arrested <laughs> like um uh, uh and I, I I think that's that's all I did oh like these so when you're in the worst situation um your uh they have the food banks you know. But the food banks, have, like you, you, if if you're homeless, like because this this can make you homeless. That the food bank, uh, only, like will provide you like dry food, um, but the dry food doesn't necessarily cover, like doesn't make you healthy. Like I lost, like, my I was so strong and so muscular, but my my body ate my muscle, like broke down my muscle to for fuel, for fuel, and um, and the food bank only allows you to go in there like twice a month, only twice a month. And, and like, if you're sleeping outside for under these circumstances, like, you, you, like, where are you gonna put that food? Like, you can't just go in there and grab a couple things, like, you know, to survive. Um, and and um, and if you're only allowing people to go in like twice a twice a month, that's that's kind of ridiculous. And if you don't have, like, once again, I don't have money for transportation, so I can't just like drive. I can't just like go. There's a couple food banks here in the in the in the, in the area, but they're some of them are really far away, and um, so I can't just like. It carried like this giant thing of like all this food like in and bring it with me and then and the, then the Rockford Rescue Mission the homeless shelter says you can't bring that food in with you they make you throw away that food the homeless shelter says like you have to throw away this food after all this happened to you you walk in they told me to throw away my sleeping bag like like the one that I'm like the one I'm using to, to sleep on like, like I'll just I guess I'll just Instead of bringing it over, like I walked in there, like I, I came with two duffel bags, and they told me to throw away this sleeping bag, like and then I took it on the couch, sleep on a small bed, um, and I don't want to, uh, and it's, it's the bed I slept in when I was like five, and uh, and so I had two duffel bags, and and I had like the, like like just a couple pairs of clothes. They told me that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't come in with those clothing, or that sleeping bag. They told me I'm gonna have to like get rid of it, and I'm like, why do I? Why would I have to? It's just, it's just, it's it's too. It's literally too. Like it's a sleeping bag, and, and it's just like clothes that are like this, like literally like this. It's like you know, because all my other clothing, all my, cl I'm wearing women's clothing, 
So obviously I don't have a lot of clothing. And so it, the homeless shelter tells you you got to throw away like the, the little clothing that you have. Um, and, and they tell you to throw away your sleeping bag. And they tell you to throw away your, your food. And um, I talked to a couple guys. Uh, and, and then they tell you, and they only let you leave for like three hours. Once again, they only let you leave for three hours a day. Um, and, and they don't provide transportation, okay? They don't provide transportation. If you have some, if you're able to get transportation, um, it takes an hour to get from one side of town to the other. So if, if so, going back, it's two hours, and so you only really get an you only get three hours. You only get one hour to like out of the three, you only get one hour to actually do something. And uh, like finding a job is like virtually like impossible, like virtually impossible. Um, and, and so uh, and like just being a human being is like virtually impossible. Like you go there to the homeless shelter. Like look where I'm at right now. I could end up in a homeless shelter like to, like tonight. And, and like then you, like you can't you can't leave it's you can't leave like you can, you can't like uh, the, you can't just like sit here and lay down you can't just like sit and lay down like they tell you like they don't feed you well there like I like they don't feed you well at all so like that's like no protein and you can't get like seconds and and, and like they're getting millions and millions and millions of dollars they're getting they have a giant thrift store there like a, a thrift store attached and um and and, uh, and they have like tons of clothing. And they don't like they, when I went there. They gave me like a pair of pants that were like like ten sizes too big. Like they have like the uh, tons of clothing, tons of items, and everything. Um, and that's the homeless shelter here in Rockford for you. So so like and, and the shelter like they don't have internet. They don't have in internet at the shelter, so I couldn't like be. I couldn't go to court for this. Like I couldn't go to court for this, and I'm like I'm waiting in queue. I, I asked the shelter if I could use their telephone. They're like make it quick. Like they're like. Like, they're like make it quick like this is not a problem they, they, they see this problem as like like it's my fault it's my fault that that this happened like when I went to the shelter because I did I did go to the shelter and they're like they, 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 they literally said it was my fault they literally said that's how that's how that's how crazy people are they said it was my fault and um, and and so I uh, yeah so so that's that's and, and under these circumstances, there's uh, the city would the, the city pays for people to 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 for like a hotel. City pays for a hotel, okay, for people who are in this like completely horrible situation, and, and they don't they didn't do that for me. Like they didn't they didn't they didn't do that for me. Um. And uh, like it's due to like my my gender. It's due to my gender. Because a woman, if this happened to a woman, you know, she would, she would, you know, it's, it's happened because of my gender and, um, because like, uh, my, basically because of my gender. Um, and, and, and like, it's hard to believe that, that like, it's this bad, but like I said, if I, if there's no internet, like at the homeless shelter, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't do this at the homeless shelter either. And so it's just like you ba basically I go to jail. Like I, I go to a homeless shelter and I sit in jail at a homeless shelter because they they, 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 they they cuss at you. They, they yell at you. I get to sit in a homeless shelter and go to jail because somebody else tried to kill me. Another member in the, in, in the police department aren't, aren't really, aren't, I don't know if they're going to do anything today or not. But if they don't, then it's just like, yeah. And, and if I wasn't able to, like I, I'm, I, I have enough information to like to, to consolidate the case but like if I didn't have that I would like it'd be like it'd be my word against his and that's just like it's how, it's how, it's how horrible it is and um, uh, it, it's and, and so it's and it's worse than this like the, it's really worse than this meaning that like like what they do like they, they, they hurt my grandmother they hurt my grandmother. Um, that's that's like, like in. Right, they hurt my grandmother. I'm providing a lot of information, and like I'm literally like waiting in court. I'm providing a lot of information, and I'm explaining why the system isn't working, and and I'm explaining why it's it's this is this is something is 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 not. It's not kosher here, and like the, the person, the, you know, the person on the phone said that that this obviously you're gonna put a case together like this. You know, you're gonna take take a long time, but in the meantime, 
I have to go to a homeless shelter and, and possibly and suffer like a criminal while while the criminal gets to like like stay here and, and, and you know gets gets uh, gets to go and work and, and, and make a lot of money um, and then they get to throw away my clothing so I can't even, I can't even get a job without you know like what am I do like wear a woman's sweater like to work like I maybe but like am I gonna like if I keep wearing the same articles of clothing every day like the, it's gonna look bad. Um, they throw, they steal my guitar, like, I don't know if they're back, are they back? No. Right. You can, you can see that, like, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of freak out a little bit if I, I heard a car door, and, like, if they're, they're back, like, he might, because the evidence supports that, like, it, it's, he's, um, he's guilty, on like on like so many counts that he could just say he could just like go off the wall and come back here and try to kill me again and uh, I'm just not like ready for that I'm just not ready for that um because I like every time he's threatened me like he, every time he's threatened me and every time he's assaulted me like I was like laying down like, I I why I would I never had a conversation with the man because he just immediately as soon as he came home like like, like, started, like, telling me I can't use a shower, like, telling me I can't work out, telling me, like, like, all, all this stuff, like, all this stuff, and then, and, and like, I was just, like, holy cow, and, and then he was yelling at my grandmother, and, like, I, like, I, nobody did anything about it, um, and, and so, uh, like, I'm still waiting in court, Still waiting in court. Like it's um. Once again, if it, it, it actually happened, it actually happened. And if I didn't have the proof on, on camera. And I didn't have the proof, like I didn't save like a document, or like I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like record them like violating the order of protection, you know. And I didn't like have to call it, you know. I didn't call. I wasn't like I wasn't smart enough to use the phone because some people are like at a disadvantage, and that's they're not able to do that. Like it, it would, like it, it would, uh, it'd be an unjustified. Everything would be unjustified. It's completely horrible. Completely horrible. Um. So that's what the city does. This this is this is what the city does. Um, they tell you you can only go to a food bank twice a month. They don't, and then um, and uh, they make you throw away your food at a shelter, and they make you go to a shelter when you're the victim of domestic violence. And that shelter tells you to throw away your sleeping bag. It says you have clothes, and we, you can't fit them into your locker, so you can't keep your clothes. Um, at that shelter, they actually took my bed, pulled it out into the middle of the floor, and like threw off all my covers. And like, like, kicked the bed and screamed and like, like, uh, and threatened me and cussed at me. And they told me to like, to, they told me to put the bed back all the way to the wall and put my covers nice and neat. And I was just like, it was like, like, and I was like, do you know how much trauma that I, I just went through? And then like, I'm supposed to, this is supposed to be like a safe place. And, um, and, and like, then there's another guy who was like picking up a bed with like another individual on the bed trying to instigate a fight. Like it's not a safe place for victims. And this is what the city does. They, you know, they, 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 they put you in an environment that's not safe and that's like sad and it's emotionally debilitating. It's very like, it's not good for like your whole entire like aura. And then they, then they say, well, if you want to get an apartment or you want to get out of here, like let's go through this program and, and, and this program, you know, but you got to get like a mental health treatment um, assessment. And um, then you can't like say then then just by doing the assessment, it, it's arguable that you have like an issue. Like at at a, at a health treatment center, they're like, well, if you're allowing all all this is important. The health treatment center says, well, if all this is happening to you, then it, it must be like my fault. Like it's not my fault for for not like threatening anybody for for not assaulting anybody. It's not, I I didn't threaten anybody. I didn't assault anybody. It's not my fault they assaulted me. Like I I never like. I never made them like, 
I, I did like I never like made them feel like afraid of me if they because they and since they weren't afraid of me they hurt me and then they stole my stuff so it's not my fault that they're that he's a criminal and there's like there's like alcohol like there's like drugs and alcohol in the house like there's a there's a beer in his center council like it it's it's not my fault that that he that that these people are the way they are but at, at a treatment center they're gonna say well well it looks like they didn't because they didn't like me because they didn't like me like because you don't like somebody you're gonna throw away their clothes and and, and hit them in the face and and, and threaten to kill them and, and like steal their stuff because you don't like them and yeah, that's yeah, what um and uh like once again, like if like I was falsely arrested, okay, like they they literally like that's like that's that's what happened, um, and uh, and those like if you look at my charges, every charge was dropped, okay, like this charge was dropped, right? But I still like going to a job and like having them sh pull your rap sheet. Like, and you have to explain this to somebody, like, come on. Like, they're going to say, well, we, we, we think we can find somebody a little bit better. Because on paper, it looks pretty damn bad. Like, like you, you were arrested. Like, you were arrested. Like, that looks really bad. And, and uh, like, in my entire life, and it, like, I, I'll have countless people who, who will back me up on this that, that like, I, I've never been in trouble in my entire life. Never been in trouble my entire life. Um, yeah, I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Um, but like, let's say, and I, once again, like, this is it's it's not fair. None of this is fair. And, and I'm just lucky enough to like be inside while this is happening. Where and I'm lucky enough to know the password to the internet. Like, I'm lucky to to because if if I didn't, like, how would I how would I know how what what courtroom? How would I know like any of this? And, and well, I, I filed the case, but my point is that, like, you know, the, 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 I, like, to get into the courtroom, the number, and the internet is still, like, necessary, and, and I, like, I, you can't get that at, like, the shelter, the shelter doesn't really have internet, doesn't have internet, it doesn't give you, like, a quiet place to, like, sit there, the shelter will not let you sit here for, like, 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 four hours and wait for it to happen, like, wait, like, in a room, like, so you can, so you can, like, you know, have a court case. They'll say, nope, sorry, you gotta, like, like, the, the staff will just, the staff there, the ones that, who, like, threaten you and, like, hurt you, will, like, threaten you, uh, say it's your fault, they'll say, no, you can't, you can't, you can't be doing this all, you know, for these many hours. And it's like, really? Like, this is how you handle domestic violence at a shelter? Like, you're, you're called, like, the crisis center. Um, and this is how the crisis center ha handles domestic violence. Um, it, it's, you're not a crisis that, that, that they have two stories in the bottom is just like the people who get released from jail, who are, who are the, the violent offenders. And, and so they go to the shelter because like they're, because they're, they're the, like, that's where my father needs to go is like, he's, he says he has nowhere to go. Like he needs to go there. And, um, and, and upstairs has like, you know, that's for people who have like addictions and, and whatnot. And, 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 and basically you have to, if you're. So it's a little bit relaxed in that environment, but you have to like say you have a problem, and so you can like get a little more freedom, and uh, and that doesn't that doesn't look good in court, like like saying you have a problem, then like you're like in, you're in court, and like well I'm wearing women's clothing, so it, you see how easy it is to like say like I, I do have a problem, like all my clothes are dirty, like I never like I, I don't know, um I, I know. I know that this 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 clothes these clothes like what I'm wearing right now, like I, I'm I'm doing a great job, I'm doing a fantastic job wearing these clothing these things. I don't want to wear these things. Um, like you know how women have the thumbs, like for the you see how women have the thumbs. I think this is my grandmother's. Like you see, like this is, like I'm I'm not the type of guy to like, like do this, like and it it's. And I hope that that's, I'm a really funny person. I'm really nice. I'm really funny. And, and I'm really like, like I'm, I, I, I'm very knowledgeable. I'm really, really knowledgeable. And, and I, and so, 
like this, this is like, because like, you know the guy, you know the guy that you talk to and he's just like, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm, I'm going to do this with a thumb. Like, I don't know. Like, this is what I'm going to do. And they, he does, like the guy does it all day and it's no problem, but I have a problem with it. Like, I just, like now my thumb is stuck. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't, I don't want my thumb stuck. It barely fits me. So it barely fits my thumb. While I'm here, while, while, while I was here, I practiced my stand-up comic comedy routine. I practiced, um, uh, I'm a professional singer. I sound annoying on camera because I'm not speaking softly. I'm not speaking softly and I'm speaking like with a, like somewhat of authority. But I, I'm a professional, professional guitar player and a professional singer. And I'm really, really funny. And I have awesome material for my stand-up. And um, the Rockford Police Department wanted, like, uh, because of a uh, brutality, wanted me to, like, you know, say I had a mental issue. And, and when you're talented, and you're, when you're talented, you know, you know people are going to be jealous and they're going to want to hurt you for your talent. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to sing in court. Like to, to prove it, like I'm waiting because I'll go into court and I'll sing. Like this is because all of this adds up to like you are. It's like this is not the right. This is not right. So I I have the worst part is is that I'm waiting to go to court to do this, and tomorrow I have a I have a hearing in federal court, and um and um like I, I in court I'm gonna have to like go there and I'm gonna have to like sing to like just show that like I am I'm really that good like. I, if, if you've ever heard a song where like you, like it makes you like want to cry, like your tears, you don't like depending on how like manly you are or how much like it, you know you try to stop this like emotion that's wave of emotion. Well, I well, certain pitches and certain frequencies and and certain melodies can can create that. And I've I've been I I've, I've done music my entire life and I can recreate that emotion sometimes. And uh, like the one that chokes you up a little bit, and it's a, that's that's a skill. It's a really good skill to have. And, um, and, and so, uh, like, um, this has been a 52 minute video. I'm just waiting. Um, and, and this is like, once again, I, I was able to lift like 800 pounds, but I starved. Like with my legs, your legs are capable of handling like at, at a 45 incline going up, like you can put like 20, you can put like 20 plates down and it's like no problem. If you, you put like twenty plates on, like I was, I was, I was big, and then I starved, and this is a, uh, like, uh, my my family didn't think it was important for me to work out. My family did not think it was important for me to work out or be healthy. Which is why my grandmother suffered and was malnourished. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't feed her what she needed. Um, she's like, what? Um, and, uh, like, like, nobody, nobody is, is okay with, with, with what is happening here. And it's hard to understand why is it happening. Well, if somebody doesn't like you and you didn't do anything wrong, and and they're like, and they're somewhat like powerful, they're able to lie. They're good at lying. They're really good at lying. And, and then other people are willing to lie for them, so so nobody go, gets in trouble for it. Like this could happen. Uh. Uh. And and and, and if you can, yeah. So. That that's 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 it. And I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it because you don't think people are like going to be this evil. Because I would never like I would never do this to somebody. I I would never do this to somebody. But like, just because they're your family member doesn't mean they're not going to still behave as a criminal. That was a tough one for me to accept very tough one for me to accept and and because they've never been like well nah, that that's enough right there um, so all these things can be fixed 
all these problems can be fixed. Like, I don't know if, if I'm, I don't know if somebody's in this situation, I think they should be able to go to the food pantry as often as they need to. So that, I mean, every day, so I can pick up a, like one or two items, eat that for the day, come back to the food pantry. Like, and, and, uh, cause, cause it, you know, the shelter's not going to let you bring in food. So I, you know, it's literally like per day basis. Um, and the food pantry, the, the food pantry is relatively close to the shelter. The shelter doesn't give you transportation to go to the store, so so it's up to the food pantry. But um, if you can only go there twice, that's like two days. You know, it's only two days, and if you're only if you're only able to like get a couple items for the day, then you're then it's pretty much you're starving. That's pretty much what happened. Um, and uh, and so and the shelter won't like give you a bus pass to go to the food pantry. You can't. The the shelter will say like we have food here. Like no, like you you're feeding people carbohydrates like they do in prison and like a little like 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 the nutritional value is like horrible you can't get seconds so like people like literally like all my muscle was like yeah like it's a, it's a, um high they don't feed a high protein diet is my point and um like i could call i can call like nami right now i call nami right now like national alliance on, on mental health, but like that's not gonna help. I don't know why that. Would, I don't know why I call them. Um, like there's a couple food pantries. There's oh the other thing you can do is you can contact like you can contact the the care centers. Like you can you can you can say you have like a disability and they'll let you like stay there for like a week. Um, if you have nowhere to go, but that looks bad when you like. That looks bad if you if you do that, and um, and in court, if, if somebody like hurts you in court, like like this, like if the lawyer is good enough, they could get they could say like you you check yourself into like a health treatment center, and, and that you are like you're disabled, like just because it's it's on paper. Like you can I, I have things on video, which is really smart, but like on paper, it's just as like uh, it's just as much evidence. Like I'm gonna call them right now, and see like. Uh, let's see, eight. And just watch how, like, uh, uh, unprofessional, like, how, how incompetent, like, they, they are. Like, I'll tell them the truth. And they'll say you can't do that. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hi. Um, so, I, uh, I was assaulted uh they threw away my uh, my father threw away my clothing stole my guitar um threatened to kill me um and uh he uh and and uh he violated his parole assaulted me he he, he wrote me like on paper death threats um he um uh, uh pretty much tortured me uh and i um so technically you know he's uh, where would i go like what could i do to answer your question because I'm not too sure personally but uh, she definitely would be able to help me transfer you in the okay. right direction okay yep hold on one second because this is a reason I'm going to mute it because this is the resources they have and she's transferring me to clinical Rosecrans believes strongly in the strength of each individual to recover those who choose to enter treatment take the essential first step toward recovery Treatment. Treatment. Why would you treat me? How come, like, why I'm a non-violent person, and you're gonna you're gonna try to treat me? Treatment programs provide group. Hi there. My name's Faith. I'm sorry. What was your name? My name's Faith. Faith. Hey, Faith. Hi. Hi. So what's going on? I hear you have quite. You went through quite the ordeal, huh? Yeah. Um. So, uh, I was wondering, like, what you could do for me. Like, uh, let me just reiterate. My, my father tried to kill me, threw away my clothing, stole my guitar, stole my other computer. Um, he violated his parole. Uh, he basically tortured me. Um, and I'm wondering, like, what you guys would do for me. Did you, did you contact, did you, did you contact the, the police? I did. I did contact the yes. police, the sheriff, and the police. Okay, so you did file a police report. Yeah. Well, so what we do here, um, is we, we do the mental health po portion of, you know, of, of what you need, um, meaning any, like, depression, anxiety, trauma, stuff like that. We can address some of that while you're here. 
Um, other than that, um, we can maybe refer to some other resources if you know you need some other assistance other than mental health treatment. Your your mental health treatment uh, is like uh, you guys you know they go in for like seven days or whatever, right? Seven to thirty. Correct. Seven to thirty mm-hmm. days, and then um, I then you guys like they, you guys have like art class or right? classes for like arts and crafts. Is that correct? Yeah, we have well, we have a, ver- a big variety of activities, right. uh, like activity based groups, as well as like psychoeducational. So we teach a lot of like coping skills, um, but we also like like I said have some activity based groups too. We do some therapy um, and psychiatry as well. Like basically, after this happens, you have to you 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 go into like your program and you just like. You deal. You get co- You 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 learn coping mechanisms because there's nothing that anybody can really do to solve this problem. Is essentially what it is, and it's just like, um, and the police can use this for like my my uh, my. So my question is, what other uh, programs do you, you do you guys work with? Uh, we work with a lot of programs with the Wear Center, where they can do like outpatient therapy and stuff like that, and then they can, they also can provide you a lot of other resources. Can you name a couple? Do you? I mean, do you have like a safe place to stay away from? father um i i filed a order of protection um and uh he has violated the order of protection like four times five times something like that um Mm -hmm. and so the issue is that uh that depending on on this trial because i i called perry state legal services for help they wouldn't help me i called for like a lawyer they uh so i i wasn't they weren't able to help me um they said they didn't have time and uh, and so it's just like what a, so it, it's uh, it's kind of a bad situation. And I'm waiting, mm-hmm. uh, like I'm waiting for the for, I'm waiting uh, during this trial to uh, to to do something like to to see how it goes. It's just that, like you know this could happen to somebody who's di- completely di- like who's disabled, and they're not they're they're, they're not going to have a fighting chance in hell to win a case when they get assaulted. And um, and so that that's my main concern. Um, but the, my other concern is like, what, can you just name a couple other service providers that you guys work with? I mean, cause you, you I mean, some of your, uh, it's like the way you're at right now, you're a crisis residential. So you guys can like, like 24 hour, you have a 24 hour crisis triage and a crisis okay. res, residential. Um, and, and like, have the police ever came and like, like involuntarily committed somebody there? No, we cannot do anything involuntary here. Okay. Um, yeah, voluntary only. That's good. Um, and, and are there other places that you guys work with that do it in voluntary? In, the only places where you can have somebody admitted involuntary is the hospital. Is the hospital? What? Which hospital? Um, the only one in the area that has behavioral health is Swedish American. Oh, uh, they work with the police department, right? They don't work with the police department, but sometimes they, they there's a form that somebody can fill out at the hospital to have somebody do involuntary treatment. Um, it's called the, the petition or a form five um, for the state of Illinois. If somebody fills that out, then the hospital can use that to hold somebody. Got it. Voluntary. Um, so I, uh, so, so that, that's, um, the, the, who is anybody able to file a petition? Yes. Anybody can file a petition. Anybody can fill it out, yes, as long as they've witnessed behavior or some reason why this person needs to be involuntary. All right, if I show you guys, um, if, I, if I show you guys like a video of being assaulted and threatened and hurt, are you guys able to file a petition at Rosecrans? Um, no, we would have to actually see the client. You'd have to see. You'd have to see the client. So that that would be something that if you are interested in doing, you can fill it out. Yeah, but if but if I have nowhere to go and I have the and I have video evidence of of it and then like you guys, uh, I mean it's good that you guys aren't able to file that petition on your own behalf, but on the victim's behalf, it it kind of make a lot of sense if you guys allowed the victim to go in there and, and file that petition because that that's what this guy needs is is that's what this guy needs is like time. <clears throat> he well he needs to go if you violate order protection you need to go to jail, and like if you <clears throat> and if you threaten to hurt somebody like you need to go to jail. If you violated your parole, you need to go to jail. Um, and if you are, uh, if they're, you know, if you it, go, if I go to you guys at the at the Rosecrans Center, I'm um, gonna and I provide you all this evidence. Like, if you guys can't, like, if if like 
You guys, just are you guys able to help? We can't, just because we can't do involuntary with someone doesn't mean we won't admit people if they're, like, like if somebody chooses to be here, we can admit them. No, I, I mean, like, <clears throat> involuntarily, because uh, uh, a criminal is not going to want to voluntarily, like, commit themselves. Yeah, yeah, so we cannot do that. And, and so who was able to do that? You said the hospital? Only the hospital. So if I contact, yeah. the, if I contact the hospital and, and give them... Uh, and, and give them this information. Like, would I have to like bring the evidence to them? Uh, I not no. They would just guide you through how to fill out the form, okay. most likely. Um. Okay. So they would guide me through filling out the form. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. I uh. And does are, are police officers able to fill out this form? They they can. They, they can file this form. Um. Okay. Uh, well, I think that's it. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, can you tell me like other ser services that you guys provide? Just like so I know, this like one or two. You guys say you work. You say you you guys work with a lot of service providers. I just can you can you no, tell? No, I said we can refer to certain. We can refer people to service providers based on what they need. Oh, so can you just? What we address is mental health. Just and your other providers. What do they address? Like, can you just give me a couple examples? Uh, like other agencies in Rosecrans, they address issues such as substance abuse, um, or um, some people are like, um, you know, sometimes like people are in both services, some, some substance abuse, some mental health, and then we also do outpatient mental health and outpatient substance abuse as well. So if you don't do drugs and you don't have a, an issue with your, your mental stability, it's kind of a, yep. it's kind of a dead end there at Rosecrans, right? Um, okay, uh, the 24-hour crisis triage, you know, if somebody's going in for like 24 hours, just like, you know, when, when somebody, like, you know, somebody try, hurts them, and they just need to like go somewhere, and the, the shelter is not, because the, sh the homeless shelter can deny you um, entry just because of capacity, but your triage center, do you have to still undergo like a, 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 tr uh, a health assessment to stay there for 24 okay. hours? You do. Okay. So they, that once again, that, 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 that mental, that assessment just for a crisis is like can be used like do is uh are the police able to like subpoena uh for it for those no. uh what no they can't you can't subpoena just because of like hipaa law correct correct so yeah i mean i mean it you know it if you need to use our services um or you know a loved one of yours or anybody you know needs to use our services we always start with an assessment um, and somebody has to come in between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. We can do the assessment. Based on the assessment, that's how we can determine how we can help somebody. Okay. Um, do you have any other no, pertinent questions for me? Otherwise, I, yeah. I mean, so yeah. I mean, if it's something that interests you, just feel free to just do well. And we do walk-ins. So you can just walk in any time between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, yep. thank you. Bye. So they allowed me to use their shower. They have a shower that you, you, so you can take a shower. They allowed me to use their shower, um, but and then I, I left. It was really nice. They usually don't do that. Um, but when you go in there, they, they give you like the gown and everything. Like you're like in a like a not so okay place. Um, but like if you don't do drugs or anything, it's just not for you. It's, it's not for the victim. It's not for the victim. And. Um, and if you don't like, because once again, she just said like her other people that they contract with just deal with like, like drug addiction, like like this like drug addiction and like mental health, like that's it, that's all they do. There's there's nothing at the end of the line for somebody who like is on is, is that deals with this. And there, if a lawyer, I mean, this is a this is a pure case. It's a, it's a, this is a pure case, and and a lawyer, you know, like this is a win in court. There's a, there, it's a win in court. But if you can't get to court, like, I'm very lucky that I'm in this situation. Like, it's, um, if you can't get to court, then, then you can't even, like, then, then it's just, you get stuck in this, like, vicious cycle of, like, homelessness and, and, and like, just, it's, it's sad. Like, like the, the amount of sadness that somebody goes through is just, like, it's, it's, like, it's debilitating. And, like, it's, it's so, it's so bad for, like, 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 imagine... Like an, a nineteen-year-old girl getting assaulted, and then you know they're by their family, and nothing's happening, and like this is like and then she doesn't do drugs, she doesn't like drink, she doesn't have a problem, and then they then they she gets like the police put her into here, the police put her into like 
you know, please put her into like here. And um, she has a color on, like she has a color. And like, and then she has to listen to people who have like drug addictions. And, uh, and uh, like how, <laughs> that's not rehab. It's not rehab. Rehab is like, she deserves like a brand new apartment, a car, a vacation, like friends, a telephone so she can go hang out with her friends. Like she deserves like pretty much the, the entire world. She deserves the entire world. And um, and that's just not how this county is. is It's not what this county is doing. The county's not doing any of that. And at the end of the line, that's all they have. So um, it's going to change. Like all of it's going to change. One step at a time. Oh, that's just sad. It's gonna change. The, the amount of trauma it is 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 unbelievable, unbelievable. But it's gonna change, and uh, that's it. That's it. I'm just waiting for this court. I'm, I have to sit here for like three hours, wait for this trial, and represent myself at the trial because there's no lawyer that's willing to represent me. Because they, 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 all this information is just like not, not like feasible. So but you should get mad because this is a, this is the right thing to get mad at. It's the right thing to get mad at. It's, uh, it's human rights.